This is James from Gamefront with a new with a new game playthrough. Let's play. Let's do it. Let's do this. No more this 5K One Life to Live challenge. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna play Fallout New California. If you're not familiar with it, it is a completely free mod that you can add on to your copy if you've purchased it for PC, Fallout New Vegas. It's not hard to download. Search it on Gamefront. You can get the mod from Gamefront. All right, that being said, since we're doing this, do me a favor, do me a solid favor. Please check out a podcast that I've just started up. It's called Alchemy This. Like the alchemist, Alchemy This. I'm in it with Kevin Pollack and a bunch of other incredibly talented people. Every Thursday, a new episode drops. It would be a huge favor to me to go on Apple iTunes and rate that show. All right, now let's get started with Fallout New California. difference is decided by character. And if you don't think character is the only factor in deciding victory, then you've been playing the wrong game this whole damn time. The world was playing the wrong game 200 years ago. They learned what it meant to be found faulty in character. For their failure, they became a wasteland of nuclear hellfire. Now out there is a horde of men calling themselves survivalists, remnants of the old world, thinking they can get by just on the strength of their arms alone. There's a new California Republic, gambling away the glory of America's past on a legion of slaves trying to rise against their masters on some old forgotten highway. None of them have any idea what kind of character it takes to bring the greatest nation on earth back to glory. But down here, in Vault 18, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about winning that war. Right here, right now, on this battlefield. You are the last of America's finest men and women. You're the A-list. The rest of those idiots are a thing of the past. Now is your time. You'll get out there and show that you have the character it takes to bring America back to glory. Can I get a hurrah? Damn right! Now move out! Okay, okay. Just for the record, everybody, the reason there's no I in team is because I'm crossing the finish line while you're in the back trying to spell. So just stay behind, pass me the ball, and I can get this taken care of. No problem. That's why they call me the MVP. Alright, here we go, and I got the ball. Cool! Oh, that hurt a little more than I thought it was going to hurt. <laughs> oh, 
That Listen. was the best play I have seen in years, kid. The whole vault is singing your praise this season. Looks like Braves Patriots put another trophy on the shelf, thanks to you. Now, I've been told you've got a career to look forward to. You made the final touchdown of the season, so that should give you just about any job you want in here. Shame you can't put it to real use out in the wasteland. With a backbone like that, you could do a lot of good up top. Well, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, I've been staying in school probably a little longer than I should have. But I, I, I don't know. You know, let me just... Let me just say, I'm proud to have done it. I really enjoy... I, I enjoy making the vault proud of me. Well, that's real good, kid. A real group mindset. But this is a moment to be proud of yourself. Never put the collective above your own success. That's what I've always lived by. There comes a time where you have to pick your own team. It can't just be the one you're born into, either. It has to be the right choice in who you throw your weight behind. I was talking to Chevy up in the security department. Those goddamn morons in the overseer's office actually want to put you to work in maintenance. Idiots don't know what kind of attitude you have. How would you like to work for Vault Security, kid? Well, jeez. <laughs> I, I am celebrating my own victories. Don't worry about me. I'm proud of myself. But hell yeah! I've always wanted to be part of Vault Security. I think uh, this whole place could use a little bit more of my law and order approach to things. You're damn right. You remind me of myself growing up back in the vault under the Midwestern Plains. I was gung-ho in love with the brass and holster look of the cowboys and soldiers that rode through town in old TV shows. My pop gave me my first gun at age 10, and I've loved it ever since. Of course, I've always been more fond of the higher caliber automatics myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take a few old gun magazines with you. My treat. Oh, you shouldn't. For bigger and better things. Listen, if you can, you can hand me some magazines on guns, but if you start handing me any other kinds of magazines, it's stepping past the line, coach. So, anyways, I should get going. It's gotten awkward. Your your magazines are, are sticky. Hey, kid, before you go, I want to ask you something. Listen. You were born in the wasteland, from what I understand. Now, I'm new to this place, and I like to get to know all my best players, but I don't know much about you it sounds like you're getting ready to get dirty with me, Coach. I don't want to... I, th I think that we should keep it a professional level. I don't want to make you my pal, Bragg, so just fuck off. Oh, well then. Let's see just how far you get with that attitude, wise-ass. Why don't you trip over your shit stain and check out that vigor tester on the wall by the door? I'm interested to see just how a moron like you can survive in this world. You I have a penny waste of an attitude the fuck out of my office before I break your face over the corner of this desk. Well, in all fairness, you took it to a fuller, harder level. You didn't have to answer me like that. That was kind of a dick move, coach. I did get the winning touchdown. Jeez. All right. Vitamatic. All right. We got some there. Oop, oop. Uh. All right, I've got quite a bit of endurance. Well, nobody's ever said I was the smartest cookie in the crayon box, but I got cat-like skills. And I'd be lying if I said luck wasn't half time my worst enemy. Oh, I got five points remaining. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm pretty charming. Well, there it is there. I hope you were happy with your grip thing. It's sticky. It's uh, Everything in your whole office, coach, is sticky. I'm a star athlete. I've chosen the path of a warrior. Duh, duh, boy. I've lived, uh, 
my whole life performing physical feats, and I'm naturally adept at handling personal challenges and keeping fit. Look at this body, it's a temple. But technical studies, <laughs> technically I don't study. All right, there, I said it. Okay. Listen, Coach Bragg. Oops. Well, I guess my name is Star Player then. Well, I guess my name's Star Player then. I guess. It's not the name I would have chosen for myself, but it's a nickname you get accidentally sometimes when you might be just rushing through life, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Can I take this? Good God! What a great trophy collection. What a fantastic trophy collection. Hmm. I better not. I better not. You know what I'm thinking, Coach Bragg? I'm thinking, if you don't keep your eye on the ball, you might get the ball knocked out of the... I'm out of here. Oh, it's beautiful outside. I wish we could really just get up out of ground. I don't really want to be stuck down here. And here we have tonight's vault hero. You really know how to handle yourself, big guy. Can I ask for a quick post-game play-by-play? Well, sure, yeah, I was about to make the play. Then Johnny came right at me and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. Do you think you could meet me back at my room? You know, um, it's <clears throat> right next door to your new place. Um, meet up, uh, I, uh... <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll see you there. I've got some stuff to take care of first. No big deal, though. Uh... Sure, don't keep me waiting, Tiger. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. It's happening. It's finally happening. Where's she going? Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta... Okay, I gotta calm down. This is a big day for me. She's never asked me on, on so much as a, a, a date. This is bigger than a date, though. This is straight to come to my room. Okay. But you gotta play it cool sometimes, if you know what I mean. Eh. You don't want to you know, come across as desperate. So I'm just going to be lackadaisical about it. I'm going to make her question whether or not I'm even interested. Uh, well, I should probably get dressed into something a little bit nicer. What am I wearing? Oh, that's what I'm wearing. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't wear my helmet. A guy that walks around with a helmet on when he's not in the middle of a game, which, I mean, I'm pretty good at it, but if you're wearing a helmet, you look like there's something wrong with you. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Just to remember where my room is. So maybe it's this way. Excuse me, I know this is odd, but uh, I got roughed up, maybe a concussion. Do you know where my room what is? What do you need? Ah, uh, never mind. Later. Whoa. That was an aggressive later. Hey there. Oh, I think I'm gonna go crazy. There's a fly in here somewhere, but I can't find it. A fly? I think you're just, uh, it's probably just stress. I don't think any flies are down here. I don't have fly problems. And if anybody does say I have fly problems, they're lying at you. They're just trying to take down my good name. Star player. Well, hello there, Officer Mark. Hey, pal. You behave, okay? Oh, it feels like back when I used to work at Black Mesa. I remember when they first brought John mm. down there. It was because the overseer said he'd be good for the kids. 
there's key. Oh, any experiments going on? I don't know if it's appropriate for me to visit the overseer's office today, but I am the star player. I've got the winning play of the game. Security. See, I'd be pretty good at this. I definitely need to get a better grasp on where everything's at. But I think on my feet, I don't need to... I don't need to be a... I'm not Magellan. Alright. Man, I sure hope this election turns out the way I hope. Oh, oh hey! You're here to see Chevy? Yeah? Yeah, can I come in? Sure you can, sport. Just remember that Chevy. Well, she's a tough one. Tread carefully. Come on. Overseer Christensen. I'm kind of a ladies' Not man. A I wouldn't worry about me. me being careful. Uh, Chevy Bragg. Mistress, the player that won the football game is here to see you. Your brother sent him. I know. Thank you, Aaron. You are dismissed. Y yes of course <laughs> Listen, I had a bit. Replacement. What's your name, recruit? Mm, when you say replacement, I hope you're not talking about your eye, because I'm keeping both of mine. We live in a fucking vault. How do you not know my name, lady? Hmm. I see. We're done here. You can go to work for me. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, what? That's not fair. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. If you come back again, I'll have you shot. <laughs> oh, no you... Way. Ugh! I've been cheated. You have filled your purpose here. You will leave. Oh, god damn it. Excuse me. I've been forced to run my this for sure. Aaron. You're a real jerk. I know you said to watch what I said, but that was ridiculous. Hey you sure look like you're keeping busy. Keep up the good work. Man, you don't know the half of it. I'm supposed to be in your garb with the helmet and the and the Kevlar vest. I'm going to be basically a janitor. Not that there's shame in janitor, but let me just say I wasn't born to be a janitor. This is bullshit. Maybe I don't have to mention this to Jen. The, I could probably spin this some way, some way good. I mean, maintenance is a big deal. Maintenance is pretty important. You think uh, this dirty spot's gonna clean itself? No, maintenance has to do that. Are you? I really hope they get that generator fixed up soon. Everywhere I go, there's a weird buzz from the lights. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, you are going crazy. It looked like you were going to get aggressive with those children playing with the ball. You're supposed to serve and protect. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right. Wow, this has turned out to be a shitty day. I got the winning game play. Get out of here! Get, get out of here! Get. Never mind. Inaccessible. Maybe I should take some flowers for her. Hmm. Go to overseer's office. What is this? I'm a good painter. All right, 
I already know where the overseer's office is. I can get there real quick. Mm-hmm. Utilities. Upper apartments. There we go. Now we're crossing over. There's a bunch of rocks over here. Somebody should clean this up. It's not maintenance's job. That's janitorial too. There's a difference between maintenance and janitorial, right? Tell me I'm not just going to be a janitor. I'm not supposed to be a janitor. Alright, where's the overseer's office? Main entrance. Overseer's office. Alright, I gotta shake it off. I cannot come across as an asshole to the overseer. Maybe I can throw, maybe I can talk to the overseer and he can give me insecurity. Excuse me, I'm here to see the overseer. Great job winning the game. Thanks. Thank you. It's, you know, whatever. Oh, um, okay. Wait. So what brings you to the administration office tonight? Uh, Ernest told me that the Overseer wants to see me. Oh, yes. Is the door not open? He may have gone to bed. Let me make sure. Just go check and see if Albert is still there. Albert is still there. Albert? Ernest? The Overseer will see you now, ball juggler. Ball juggler? Frank Lowe. Nice. What? Stupid. Damn. Should have stuck with Greg. Yeah, you are making yourself sound like a dummy. Down, down, audio. Master going down. And master back up. Uh, excuse me, Overseer. I'm the guy that won the so, game. Sounds like you've had an eventful evening. First you score the last touchdown of the season, then you get a coveted post with Vault Security. You're shaping up to be a real mover and shaker. What do you plan to do next? Listen, I didn't end up getting the security position. I kind of screwed that up. Is there a way that you can, I don't know help me with that because the only other thing I want to do is escape the vault and start my own wasteland empire ha such a kidder no now listen here kid I've got that brag fellow beating the election by 10 points but that doesn't mean he's out of the game brag offered you that post with his freaky sister down in security I want to know why what did he offer you and what does he expect in return listen uh does Bragg's charming bring America back to glory stuff worry you? Are you worried about being more glorious down here? Maybe. Possibly. Look, Bragg is the vault sweetheart. He's a hard liner, big on security, low on spending. I get that, but the man is a tyrant. He's been driving these kids like dogs, and not just on the field. He has them running laps with machine guns, for God's sake. You know about his after-school program, those long speeches about America and restoring it to purity? Purity. Do you know what kind of a man fills a child's head with those machinations? A dictator. I'm worried that after Bragg loses the vote for the overseer's office, he won't take it peacefully. That's why I called you up here, to get your perspective. Listen, it seems odd that you're politicizing this. I'm just trying to have a good time in the vault, okay? If you don't like Bragg's patriot training and defense drills, why did you authorize it? I didn't. Chevy demanded it. The Wasteland Scouts, Rossman and Yeti, they didn't sanction it either. When that dry harpy took over, she set her one good eye on making Vault 18 their private fortress. With whatever it was Rossman did to piss off our upstairs friends in the Wasteland, the old folks down here have been running scared. We're an elderly vault, kid. 80% of our inhabitants are in nursing care. They're afraid. They jump at their own shadow. You tell them all the ghost stories about vault vikings and psychos blowing up the vault door? No wonder they're out looking for a man like Bragg. 
So why did you call me in here, Overseer? This isn't gonna be an easy talk, kid. People in the admin office think Bragg's not content with taking over as Overseer by popular vote. They think he's planning a coup, with Chevy supplying him with guns and Bragg training his patriots day and night. So I'm, I'm worried the whispers may be true. What do you know about Bragg and Chevy's plans tomorrow? They gave you that post in security. You've got to have heard something. I don't think you offered about... I don't think you understand. I was offered that position, but I blew it by acting like an asshole. All right? My God, they got to you too. How much of that macho bullshit has gone to your head? Are you more interested in protecting the vault or that cockamamie America cult garbage? Oh, come on. You lie to you. You're lying to yourself. You don't really believe that boogeyman stuff, do you? I don't know what to believe. You know those crazy half-cocked patriot types? One minute they're talking jibber-jabber political nonsense, the next they're waving guns in your face. Bragg voted last season to let the gun controls in Vault 18 run wild. Now they're everywhere, but only his kids know how to use them. They outnumber Vault security three to one. We didn't let this happen. They created it. So what do you want me to do? I want you to keep an eye on them. Watch what they're doing. Report back to me. If the Patriots are up to something, we ought to know about it. Sure. I get a bad... F if I get a bad feeling, I'm gonna tell you first. I don't know if you realize this, but Bragg and I are not actually on good terms. He just short of physically kicked me out of his office, and his sister took away the job that Bragg offered me. That's all I wanted to hear. Well, it's not right, what I wanted to hear. I'm sure you and your brother Sean have some trouble to get into. Go on. My brother Sean? I totally forgot I had a brother named Sean. Where's Sean? Oh, that reminds me I've got a hot, hot date tonight. <sighs> okay. Does I look okay? Um, my hair's pretty messed up. It doesn't matter. Oh. The, uh... Jen? 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 Oh. Hey, kid. Here to see my daughter? Where Ooh. Are you? Uh, <laughs> well, see, the thing is... Uh, <clears throat> Gotta keep my nerve, gotta keep my nerve. If... Simmer down, big guy. I just came by to see her. I'll go. Good. Get out of here. Daddy. Oh, jeez. What a dick. Hey, welcome back. It's Thank you. Hero. Well, that's Great a warm welcoming. You were fantastic. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. you. missed it, man. We had a game going on tonight. What are you playing? Some sort of role-playing oh, game? You couldn't have come yeah, by and it's... see me? I'm sure it was great. Sean, Wait. Gosh. I thought you just said... I thought we were going to try to fake it. Fake it? Oh. <laughs> Oops. This day went from great to shit. I'm gonna sleep it off. Oh, you gonna play me a song? Okay, well that's weird. This is my bed. For some reason I remember it being so much more, I don't know, masculine? Let's close the door. Oh. <sighs> You know what? I can't go to bed now. I can't go to bed. Sometimes it's not the job you want, but it's the job you have. And I've always been a man that gets done what has to get done. I'm going to go on my pipe quest. I might not go out on a date with Jen because her dad's a dick. But that can't stop me from cleaning out pipes. Oh, 
I had the key. <laughs> well, jeez. Out of order. This doesn't seem like a safe elevator. Well, I guess this is my new commute to work. What a long elevator ride. They're just to go downstairs? This building's laid out terribly. Uh-huh. Come to make a living up in the dark, have we? Well, I'm glad to see you at any rate. What are you doing up here at this time of night? Hey, Joe. Somebody told me I have a job and maintenance starting tomorrow, and I just wanted to rip the band-aid off and get it started. Oh, is that so? Well, I guess you won the short list of that lottery. Why do you want to pick to work up here in the dark? I don't know. It was the only option they gave me. Democracy, right? <laughs> Great. We used to have an application process for this. Well, tomorrow would be great. But I have a job for you now. What? There's this pipe down in the admin hallway that needs fixing. Don't know what's wrong. I just got the work order. You want to go down there? I'll go have a look at him. Great. If you can't find it, go to the admin office, talk to Sarah Carter. She's the one that sent in the request. Sarah Carter. I've met Sarah Carter. All right. Yuck. What a long walk back. It's going to be first the elevator. Time to clean the pipes. Wait, Sarah Carter? Oh, there you are. Hi, Sarah. Hello again. What brings you to the administration office? Well, Joe said that there's this pipe that's costing you problems, and I figured I'd just oh, get to it. Oh, yes. I sent him that order. We get such fast service from you, Wasteland Kids. It started about a week ago. I kept smelling these really harsh fumes coming out of the grate. I may be going crazy, but I wanted to be sure. Right out the door behind you is the problem. I hope you can figure it out. Figure it out? Yeah, sure, I'll take a look. Is it just outside this door, right? Oh, good. By the wall in the grate? Yeah, it's the little valve by the grate. All right. I hear it. I hear it hissing. Valve by the grate. Oh. Valve by the grate. Just outside this door. Okay, well, maybe I'm just not following it very closely. Uh, is it here? Is this it? Activate gas valve pipe? Hmm, this leaking pipe has a, has a critical corroding flaw in its case. I'm noticing some exposed wires cut by some foolish technician. One day it's probably going to explode. They don't do something. Hmm. Wonder if I could do something about it. 
need to get my repair skills up. I found the problem. Let's see, do I have any books about repair? I found the problem, but I can't fix it. Guess I'll have to tell her this is not going to be good news. Hello again. What brings you to the administration office? <sighs> Just exploring out to see the vault before I go to bed. Oh, well... That's weird. Haven't you seen everything a hundred times already? No. If you're getting stir crazy, you should report to the infirmary and get checked out. Vault madness is your responsibility. No one else's. Was there something else you needed? No, that's very much it. Great job out there tonight. Have a good night. Thank you. Mm. Shouldn't you be in bed? It's getting kind of late, kid. I'm trying. I need to find a repair book. No repair books around? Well, what a f failure of a day. Son of a bitch valve. Can't fix it, can't do anything. Can't be a vault security guard. Can't do it at all. Maybe I can wish. I need repair skill. Can you can you like change my DNA? How disappointing. I wonder if there's a way for me to turn that. Oh, I can't even hack a computer. It's so dumb. Where's the lower apartments? Quarters. Quarters. Hydroponics. Utilities. There we go. Ugh, I'm exhausted. You know, that's not my apartment. Here we go. Good night. Don't.
talk to me. Nobody talk to me. Well, looks like I've ruined this entire day. And now I can level up. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I know this is... I mean, this is the way the beginning of a game is. It's slow build. Slow build. Uh, I'm going to make another video. It'll be coming out really soon. I'm traveling a lot right now. Um, in fact, I'm going to be in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Tomorrow I leave at 4 a.m. And I'll be back Saturday night to L.A. Next week I'm in Hartford, Connecticut. Then I'll be back the following Saturday. So I'm traveling a lot, but I'm going to make sure there's no contest in this one. I'm really excited to play this mod. Uh, you can download it for free on GameFront.com. Um, but, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Oh, please, please check out the new podcast a minute. It's a comedy podcast called Alchemy This and rate it on iTunes. All right, talk to you guys later.